Virgos, hey my love, love, loveies, welcome back to another video. You guys, this is going to be your quick read for this evening. I'm sending you a lot of love, multitudes of love, light, and positive energy as always. I hope you guys are doing well. It's Virgo season. Happy, happy Virgo season. Happy birthday if today is your beat day, baby. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to dive right in. I had to do a premeditative shuffle for you guys. So I was trying to um, focus on the energy, energy and meditate on the energy and see what spirit wanted me to talk to you about this evening. I already knew it was going to have something to do with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. Um, but I pulled some cards for you and this is what came out. Okay, now, child, I'm trying to tell you now. Just bear with me, okay? Don't don't shoot the messenger and just rock with me. It's going to be some good in all this, I'm sure of it. But this is what we have here. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what this person is thinking about and what they want you to know at this time and what could be on your mind, okay? So let's see what you need to know about this energy that is surrounding. All right, if you're looking for your prayer, check the previous video I posted earlier. It's on there. We dive in straight into it, okay? So... Virgo, underneath the bottom of the deck, I pull cards for you and your person, okay? So, I wanted to see how your person was feeling towards you or whoever's in your energy. What are they thinking at this time? All right, so at the bottom of this deck, hope is here. So, somebody is saying that they have hope. I haven't given up on us yet. So, somebody is still hoping for a chance with you, hoping for an opportunity, hoping that one day you guys will talk and resolve things, okay? Whatever this is, they did something to make you separate from them. And this person is still hoping, praying that you give them another chance. Now, I said, okay, what else is going on with this person? So I could tell Virgo, we need more than hope. So what else came out was broken. I feel shattered about this situation. All right, so somebody really regrets what they did. Of course, of course they do. All right, because you're gone now and you don't miss, you tend to not miss something until it's gone. You start thinking about all the feelings and all the good things and all the ups and downs and whatever you did to push them away or whatever the case may be. So this person is going through the motions, okay? They're thinking about this, but this person is feeling broken, okay? They feel shattered about the situation because they lost you. They feel like there's, there's, it's like there's almost no hope, but they still are holding on to that little inkling of you never know, okay? But um, what I'm getting here for sure is you definitely are away from this person. You definitely distance yourself. For a lot of you, you just look at the phone when they call or you blocked them already, all right? So this person can't really talk to you, um, but they're feeling confused. They don't really understand where you guys stand. It says, I feel unclear about where we stand. So somebody is wondering like, what did you want to come out of all this? Is this really over? I feel like somebody just, when you say it's over or you're done with something, they don't believe you. I feel like you really showed this person that this time you were serious, like it's really over. Let's move over here. So I said, what's going on in Virgo's energy? What is my Virgo dealing with right now? What is Virgo feeling? Because this is the person that's on your mind or who's thinking about you. So over here, we got new love, <laughs> intelligent, communicative, smart, creative, serious, sociable thinkers could be an air sign. And then we have forever love. It says this is the one, a spiritual connection, contentment, putting forth the effort. So I feel like you guys are about to meet somebody or you already have met somebody that is really doing it for you. Okay, this person is making you feel really good. Um, about the situation, about what you guys have going on. I just feel like this person is making you feel rewarded. And this person is making you feel very worthy. Okay? This person is making you feel appreciated. So it's a lot of good energy over here. If you haven't met this person yet, when you meet this person, you're going to feel these things. It could be um, a air sign for some of you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. But I'm feeling like you're focused on meeting some new love. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, whoever you have met, you're connecting, honey. It's the honeymoon phase. Feeling those butterflies and feeling really good. So I feel like you're not focused on this person over here that's going through all this other stuff. You're more focused on something new coming in and something that you can actually feel comfortable investing in. So let's break this down, Virgo. Let's see what else is here for you. Um, we're going to see what scenarios are surrounding you regarding this new love, forever love. Let's see what else. Because I feel like there are two people, at least two people in your energy right now, 
One is feeling very broken and confused. Let's see if we can find out who this is and why they feel this way. Let's see, real quick. Let me get my little cards. Where my other little cards at? Okay, let's get our little mini tarot deck. See what's going on with this person. I'm going to see what I can pull. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for Virgo. Thank you for blocking and binding all negative energy entities, witchcraft, and wickedness, and giving my Virgo a clear and concise message and guidance. So, confusion. What is this confusion between you and someone? Knight of Cups. So a younger water sign, all right? Creative, romantic, charming, imaginative, and attractive. So this Knight of Cups has some very attractive energy. This is also this person coming to bring you love or flirting with you or talking to you. Um, this person is not, I feel like you're giving this person mixed messages or you did. And now for some of y'all, you just ghosted them. Because you don't know what you want to do with this person, but you don't feel like this person is serious enough for you to actually be planning on moving forward with. So I see you guys thinking about that, not really sure what you want to do and how you want to go about moving forward with this person. So let's see. What else? Why, why is this person unclear about where they stand? Show me. It's a Knight of Cups energy. Somebody charming. Doesn't have to be a water sign. We got the page of swords in reverse. Self-expression, all talk, no action, hazard, and haste. So I feel like this person is rushing in. This is why you don't want them. Like, this is what's pushing you away. Um, I feel like this person is all talk, no action, a hazard. So I feel like this person is, like, kind of dangerous to be trusting or dealing with. Um, somebody has some growing to do. With this page of swords energy and knight of cups energy, this person could be kind of immature. Um, and I also feel like this person is um, some type of self-expression. So they keep trying to talk to you about themselves and tell you what they want and how they feel. But they're not telling you what to expect and what you can do and, and what they can do and blah, blah, blah. I feel like they're not up to par. They just have a lot of growing to do. Virgo, you're in an energy where you deserve a king or a queen, emperor or empress. And this person is a knight of cups with their emotions and page of swords with the intellect part or the talking or getting to know. So, mm, I don't know about this, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So, I feel like you're putting this burden down, whatever this person is going through or trying to introduce to you. I don't feel like you guys are interested. So, I feel like you're putting this burden down when it comes to this person and you're moving on towards something better. I feel like you want something real, something, something that feels more worth your time. Okay, so broken. I feel shattered about this situation. Somebody feels bad that you ended it with them. The world. All right, so I feel like you closed this door on somebody. So is this three energies? This is three energies. Yeah, because this person here is feeling confused. This is somebody new, I think. I really do. With this page of swords energy, ten of wands, you feel like you already gave this person an opportunity to show themselves serious or whatever the case may be, and they keep failing miserably. So... You're not worried about this person. Then we got broken. I feel shattered about this situation. The world. Um, so I feel like the world. You wanted assured success. So you close this cycle out. Um, completion. This signifies the ending for a brand new beginning. The world is actually good news where you get to start fresh. A clean slate. And then judgment. You made a judgment on someone here. What was the judgment that Virgo made besides the world? What? Why did Virgo end this? Wow, three of swords, negative self-talk, releasing pain and forgiveness. Feel like you're releasing it because this person tried to hurt you or they hurt your feelings or something like that. Feel like you're healing from energies like this or you're healing from this situation, whatever you went through with this person. Um, for some of you, it could be an earth sign. So we got an earth sign, a water sign and an air sign here. For the new love, the new love, this is ace of swords energy. So it could just mean it's just a new start with somebody doesn't have to be an air sign. But whoever this is that you're about to meet or connect with, baby, you're going to like them a lot. Yes. Get ready for this mature love that you can invest in. Over here, full in reverse. So this is holding back, reckless, risk-taking. All right. So this person wants to take a risk with you over here. The fool fell over here. 
So I feel like this has something to do with that person that was broken. This person wants to take a risk and come towards you. Um, for y'all, some of y'all, it's a page of coins. Somebody was trying to do the bare minimum, not really wanting to do anything serious, but still wanting to talk. This person is wanting to express themselves to you. <laughs> I don't feel like you want to hear it. First of all, you're ghosting this water sign. You're, you're ending it with this earth sign. And now you're moving on to a new love for somebody. For somebody, they could be ending it with a fire sign also. Or you already did. But this new love, I feel like you guys have been manifesting this. This is some type of wish fulfillment here. A wish granted. Wow, I know that's right, Virgo. A wish is about to be granted. Let me see. We're about to get into this tarot. Now, I feel like this person, whoever this is, that is over here with this confusion about where you stand. I feel like this person sent you mixed messages and that's why you push them away. Honestly, the way that they're coming, I feel like they do a lot of talk, but they can't show you. It's like they want help. They want this. They need that. They know like, but they can't show you. They're not doing much to help themselves. And I feel like it would be a burden if you deal with this person. All of this stuff that this person is trying to carry, I feel like Virgo, it would be their issues. So you would be struggling literally trying to be with this person, carrying all their burdens. And that's just crazy. So I feel like, yeah, you don't want to do that. For some of y'all, you do not want to do that. And then we have um, inspiration, ideas, discovery. Um, with this page of wands energy, this is also talking about um, scattered energy, a bit scattered. Um, somebody could have their eye on something, be feeling very ambitious about it, but they're a little bit wishy-washy and kind of immature with their energy. So this page of wands is clarifying the nine of cups, a wish. So somebody does have their eye on you. I feel like somebody is um, wanting to see and know more. Somebody's wanting to move forward. <laughs> Empress energy. Wow. Ace of coins. Ow. So somebody really wants this. Somebody could want to be with you. You could meet somebody, Virgo. It looks like you're about to meet somebody new. And I feel like this new love is going to be serious, ready to offer you a serious proposal. Somebody, this Empress energy here and the new love could be a masculine energy. So we got the divine feminine and the divine masculine energy here. I feel like this is really about to be a mature love. So I feel like these people here, you're leaving these behind. It's like you're bored with these options. Somebody is bored with the same old thing. And you got something brand new right here. Wow. I like it. Somebody's attractive, a self-starter. This could be a boss. I see King of Wands energy. It could be a fire sign. And I see the strength card. You being strong while you're manifesting your dreams. So somebody could have a Leo that's got their eye on them. Wow, this Leo. You and this Leo just might hit it off. I'm telling you. But um, I feel like, yeah, some for somebody, you could hit it off with the Leo. For somebody, you could be walking away from a Leo. This could be this Leo here that feels broken. Five of Cups. I mean, Four of Cups. Still, like, I mean, Four of Coins holding on to you, but you block them. I feel like this is, <laughs> this is a Leo or an Earth sign, and you got them blocked. This person wants to talk to you. They're asking. They want to know why you blocked them or something like that. Child, this is a mess. Like, but I feel like over here, this new love energy, this is what you're focused on, Virgo. I feel like this is you focused on your wish fulfillment. You're not focused on the past. You just don't want these people. You're not interested. Yeah, it's a water sign and an earth sign or a fire sign that you're leaving behind. And it's a brand new love here. Wow, we got the star card, the queen of wands. Let's see what spirit is trying to tell you here. Oh, let's get a tarot message to get some clarity here because this was a lot, okay? So, for this deck over here, guys, this is the new love. Over here, we have this water sign that is confused about what's going on between you two. And then here, we have this earth sign that feels broken about whatever happened. All right, so we got confusion over there. New love over here. Let's see what's going on. Somebody And both of these people have hope. So, let's see. Somebody is holding on, having hope. Somebody is broken. This broken person could see you in passing or they're trying to communicate with you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, show Virgo clear messages. What's the message here for Virgo today, Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? 
All right, so this person over here is sad. This Scorpio energy or water sign energy over here, I feel like they're upset because you're standing your ground with them. And this Queen of Swords energy, standing your ground with them, they can't play with you. So somebody sees they can't play with you, okay? And this person wants to come in, rush in, do whatever, and you won't let them. With this immature energy, Page of Swords, and Knight of Cups, in and out energy. I feel like you told this person, like, no, you're not playing any games with them. You're not going to play with them. Somebody here is staying single. When it comes to them, it's like, no, I'm independent. I'm good. I don't, I'm not having anybody confusing me or somebody that I have to raise. For somebody, you have this um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female energy that is upset that y'all aren't talking. All right, but the lover situation here, I feel like you're standing your ground and deciding to stay single because this person is wanting a lover situation, not a relationship this person is very immature they just want to have some fun and you're not you're not here for it so now we have broken show me clear messages about this energy so it's an earth sign here that is broken they want to talk to you they think about you passionately all the time so this person wants wants to get closer to you but what show me more wow the two of cups in reverse, you don't see it. It's just like you don't feel like you two have the same vision. You don't see the soul connection. Like, I feel like Virgo, they're thinking about you passionately and you're just like, no, I'm not feeling it. Like, you dump whatever cups out. <laughs> the Hierophant, it could have something to do with religious beliefs or religious upbringing. This could be somebody who's a different nationality than you. But I feel like y'all are not on the same page and you're holding back from this person ignoring this person your angels are trying to bring balance and this person is steady watching you heartbroken and mental conflict wondering why you won't talk to them child virgo you're not interested in this person they just somebody here just can't take no for an answer it's like their ego won't let them accept the fact that you don't want them okay let's move over here to this new love what's going on for virgo in this new love spirit Then we're going to find out what spirits advice for you two. So this new love. Wow. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Six of Cups. So somebody could be bringing somebody a gift. I feel like somebody is very interested in the other person. You could find this person extremely attractive, fun to be around. And I feel like this is somebody that you're thinking about settling down with. Here's another Ace of Pentacles. I feel like somebody is definitely trying to rush into you. I feel like somebody wants this connection with you. Somebody doesn't want to lose you. It's a new, it's this new love energy. I feel like somebody feels like you guys could be together forever. Somebody feels like this will be a very good connection. You guys could make a lot of money together. Somebody is really feeling you, Virgo, or they're going to. You're going to meet somebody or you already met somebody. Put it in the comments. If you already met somebody. Wow. So we have the king of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. But we have a queen of wands here. Somebody could just be thinking that you're very attractive. What's this queen of wands? The death card. Scorpio. So somebody is trying to convince you, talking to you, like they're trying to tell you that they stopped talking to somebody. Tower. Ending. All right, so somebody's telling you their background. Somebody here could be telling you that they no longer talk to somebody. They were dating a Scorpio or something like that. Or is this Scorp a Scorpio telling you something about how it didn't work out with their person and it really is over. They closed this chapter to start a new beginning with you. And this person really wants this. I don't think, Virgo, you know how serious this person is. They're waiting. Look at this. I'm looking through the deck. Look, they're waiting. Every time I separate the cards, there's something about this person waiting, hoping. So somebody's waiting for you to make a decision. Somebody really wants to talk to you. Yeah, this person wants you. Hmm. <laughs> So Virgo, get ready. You're about to have some new energy coming towards you. I like this a lot, okay? <laughs> get ready. First of all, let's see what Spirit tells you to do. So Spirit, what should Virgo do with this confusion over here with this um, younger water sign or whoever this is? 
choose wisely seven of cups and what should virgo do with this broken person that that caused them conflict and they don't really like them Go ahead and move on away from this person. Focus on your, you have a recognized victory coming with this new person that you just met. People are going to be choosing, um, um, celebrating you or something like that for this new connection. This is your wish. Keep working. Keep focusing on your work. Keep building. I feel like this is coming. All right. So spirit is telling you, if you want this over here, walk away from this person. And what should Virgo do with this new love situation? Talk to this person. Keep, go ahead. Fast is going to happen fast. Everything is going to be happening fast. You guys are about to communicate, reconcile. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to like this. So Spirit, Virgo Spirit said, go ahead. Keep going. Explore this. New opportunity for you. You deserve it. Okay, my lovies. That was your reading, my loves. I will see you later on on our live. Thank you for being here with me. I'm sending you love, light, and positive energy. If you want to book your personal reading, book it at Closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. If you want to email me and have any questions or you want to use Cash App, you can book your reading at Closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. The other, um, the website is Closer, the number two, my destiny.com. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you. Bye, my loves. Bye, Virgo.